Morning everyone. Today is going to be another great day of mowing. It's uh, about 70 degrees right now. It's supposed to hit around 80 today. The humidity is going to be up there because we got about two inches of rain last night. So we have uh, about a dozen yards to do. So let's get started. Good morning. Looks like the weather forecast is wrong today. Yeah, it's supposed to be cloudy, partly sunny. Looks like the rain's going to show up again today. Yeah, we got a little bit of a sprinkle right now, but I don't know what's going to happen. Doesn't matter because we need the rain. You know, we got uh, two or three inches of rain last night. We still need some more rain because uh, it came down in downpours, and when you get a torrential downpour, all that stuff just runs off and nothing really soaks in the ground. The second yard that you just saw us on, um, I was using uh, Vicky's Weed Whacker. And because uh, I want to try the difference, see how much my old wore out one was slowing us down. I got that uh, ditch done twice as fast as I normally do. So I think as much as I've been holding off on getting a trimmer, I think I might have to get a new trimmer before the season's up here. Because we've got, what, two more months roughly of weed whacking. So. Yeah, we've got a lot of flower, flower beds to knock <sighs> yep. down. So that thing is just uh, slowing me down. I guess it's time. I guess uh, I guess what six years? I guess six years is long enough for a trimmer. So don't want to spend the money, but I guess I'm gonna have to. Yeah, mine mine's only like two years old. Yes, yours is two years old. Yours is doing really well. A lot more power, about two pounds lighter than mine. So, but it's time to update, I guess. 
Hopefully they didn't change the model again. Uh, no, from what I've seen on the Makita site, the 20, 2650, I think it is, LH is, uh, there's two models. One with the J handles there for the brush, brushing, I guess, and uh, the one that we have. So uh, we'll just have to stop at our buddy's uh, shop today and see what he's got. Well, we just got done with two yards using a bagger and on the gravely and that Protero bearing spun again. So in my spare time, when I have a chance, if I get done early, if I get rained on or whatever, I got to stop the dealership and uh, order parts. I'm sure they're going to want to put it all together themselves because it should be under warranty. I think it's under warranty for two years, but I'm done screwing with it. So it's going to have to be replaced the bearing, the one that's been spinning because that's uh, out of round now probably. If not, it, close to it. And then that shaft with the impeller, that's going to have to be replaced. So uh, that's not a 10 minute project either. That's going to be a couple hours to get because yeah, all the bearings are pressed on and pressed off or tapped on if you want to do it the way I do it. But um, yeah, they're done. So I'm just going to make it as long as I can with that thing. Yeah, it's a lot louder and make a lot of racket, but I got to have it. So I could use the, the skag, but with this wet grass, that skag, we just will not cut it. So we'll do the best we can to make it through the next couple days here. So we were going to stop at my buddy's shop to sell the Makitas, but that's not going to happen now because that Protero is done. I did a half of this yard, I bagged it up, and I just couldn't take it no more. And she's getting a drink. She needs a drink. So, so what we're going to do, we got three yards left, and we have two hours to do them. So it's going to be tough to get them all done before uh, the dealership closes because I'm going to have to order parts or drop the... Protero off or something, I don't know, but I gotta have that thing up and running. So the rest of the week, we'll probably be running the skag with the bagger on it, because uh, we still have a bunch of lawns that we have to bag. So we'll see how this rest of this day goes. Now it is time for Vicki's question of the day. Good afternoon. So for all you people who do lawn care, before you started doing lawn care, what was your job that you did to make money before that? Or during uh, when you were launching your lawn care. Yeah. So I myself worked at a bowling alley and the Home Depot. I worked full time both places plus doing lawn care. And I was working at a bank until, until I didn't work there. I worked there 15 years and then I was all done so. Yeah they walked they walked her out the door because she got paid too well. I don't know if that was it. That but was it, yeah. I was there too long, apparently. Yeah, it cost too much money. So they walked her out and several others. But that's just the way it works in the corporate world. So uh, your answers down in the comment section below would be greatly appreciated. Okay, almost forgot the. We almost forgot to end the video. No, you forgot. <laughs> I forgot the other video. He's all worried about fixing that lawn more. So I went to the Gravely dealership, which my Gravely dealership's name is Gambles. And they're going to order the parts where they get to it today or tomorrow, whatever. It's under warranty, so it's not going to be any money out of my pocket. But they're just going to give the parts to me, and I'm just going to fix it myself. Because I told them I could do that. I'm more than capable of doing that. And I said, that's fine. I'll do it that way. So... Um, when they show up, I'll get that fixed. So that'd be another video, I guess, in the future of me tearing that thing all apart. So um, please uh, remember to uh, subscribe, like, and click the notification bell to be notified for our next video. So that's going to be the end of our video for today. Have a good evening. See you at the next one. Peace.
Goodbye.